Sunshine. Why do we need sunshine for our heart? Because vitamin D is necessary. But remember, the ultraviolet, ultraviolet rays from the sun hit a form of cholesterol just under the skin to vitamin D. And so in our nutrition, we need to be having good amounts of fats. And the best fats are your plant fats. Your oils are concentrated. You don't need much. <laughs> but you do need some. You do need some. Use of water. There's a few things that we're looking at in, in uh, heart disease. Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep the heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Leviticus 17.11 says the life of the flesh is in the blood. So that issue of life is the blood. So we've got to look at the heart and how we can keep it strong. We've got to look at the blood vessels, how we can keep them supple. And we've got to look at the blood, how we can keep it nice and thin so that it's running well. One other thing that they have done for, in an attempt to lower heart disease is put everyone over the age of 50 on aspirin. Left out the S there, aspirin. Does that work? No. The number one cause of stomach ulcers is aspirin because it causes the stomach to bleed. But they've found a few more things out about aspirin. It's causing eye bleeds and it's causing brain bleeds. Eye bleeds means deterioration of eyesight. Brain bleeds means deterioration of brain function. Whew. Drugs never cure disease. They just change the form and location. So as we go through our laws, I'm also going to be discussing some herbs that are particularly helpful with heart disease. Use of water. Water is the best blood thinner. When I used to work at Misty Mountain Health Retreat a few years ago, I used to do a live blood analysis. I would take one drop of blood when the people come in. I would put it on the, on the slide and then put it up on the little television screen under the microscope and it came up on the television and everyone could look at their blood. <laughs> and every now and then, by the way, blood should be like this. It pops around, pops around. And every now and then, I'd look at a blood slide, and it's like this. And I would always presume I'd spoil the slide. It's easy to spo spoil a slide. Five blood slides later, it still looked like that. So I said to the person, uh, how much water have you drunk today? And I remember this one girl, she was only 18. She said, I don't drink water. I said, yeah, mercy. <laughs> I said, well, I can't look at your blood. <laughs> it's just all clumped together. I can't tell what the cells look like. And her mother walked in the door and I said, let's look at your mother's blood. And the mother's blood was like this. And I said, your mother's 25 years older than you and she's got better blood than you. Hmm, <laughs> she said. See, she didn't really want to be at our health retreat. She was annoyed that her mother had brought her. But that shocked her and she started to drink more water. I looked at her blood later in the week and it looked like this. <laughs> That's, dehydration is easy fixed. It's called drink more water. Lovely story about this girl. After the first lecture, she became interested, excited, got a pen, got a paper. And at the end of the week, you know what she said to me? I wish this was the first day. I saw her mother 10 years later and she said, she's a mother now and she's doing everything she learned at Misty Mountain. <laughs> Knowledge is power, yeah? And that's why I know that the best blood thinner is water. We had a pathologist do our program and he said, we did studies on caffeine. He said, you know, it takes five glasses of water to take a make up for the dehydrating agents in one cup of coffee. And of course, especially if that coffee has a teaspoon or, or two of sugar in it. But I want to introduce you to another blood thinner, 
Actually, I think this is a good colour for it. Cayenne pepper. Some people get a little bit concerned about cayenne pepper, saying, isn't it a stimulant? It is, but it's not a nervous system stimulant. It's a blood stimulant. And if the life of the flesh is in the blood, a herb that stimulates more blood to the area means more healing. Blood brings water, it brings nutrients, it brings oxygen, it carries away waste, it carries the, the red blood cells. So more blood means more life, as the Bible says, more, more of the ingredients that our body needs to heal. Last week at uh, Eden Valley Retreat, we had a man there who had a clotting disease. Both of his siblings had died from clots and he was on Wolfrin. You've heard of Wolfrin? It's actually a rat poison. It's just that they don't give as much to humans so they don't bleed to death. He said, I'm scared to come off it. He said, I found my sister when she passed. So, you know, he had fear, but this fear was pretty granted, wasn't it? But he said, this Wolfram is knocking me about. I feel terrible. I said to him, I can't tell you what to do. Only you and your doctor have authority over your medication. But I can tell you what I would do. I said, I would take two capsules three times a day of cayenne pepper. Because what cayenne pepper does is it thins the blood. Cayenne pepper also, so we'll write this down because it's very impressive, it thins the blood. It acts acts as a vasodilator. What's a vasodilator? A vasodilator dilates or opens the blood capillaries. And cayenne pepper also strengthens the arterial wall, which means it can help to clear out all of this debris. Isn't that good news? Can it be cleared? It can. You might have heard of Dr. Agatha Thrash. Her and her husband Calvin, both doctors, they started Yuchi Pines. You've probably heard of Yuchi Pines in Georgia. Well, I had the privilege of meeting her when she was still alive and visiting her retreat probably 18 years ago now. And she, tell, she tells this story that they had a lady come to their retreat who was 75, who was an alcoholic. And she did the program, stopped drinking, of course. And while she was doing the program, she surrendered her life to God. And at the end of the program, so she, she got physical, spiritual, emotional and mental healing. At the end of the week, she said, I don't want to go home. I don't want to drink again. And they made arrangements for her to, to live on the property and help with the laundry or something like that. In fact, the next 10 months were the happiest years of her life, she said. She'd come from a troubled home and she'd resorted to alcohol. When she came there, she'd had an angiogram and her arteries were 85% blocked. Like this. That's about an 85% blockage. After 10 months, she, an embolism burst in her brain and, and she, she died. Agatha Thrash did a post-mortem on her and her arteries were clear. That's 10 months. 10 months drinking water on these Sustain Me principles and her 85% blocked arteries were clear. Now you don't always get the opportunity to have such a clear test. They can be cleared. Praise God. God is in the, God is in the business of healing. Yeah. And what did he say in John 10.10? 10? I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Life should be good. Many people are sick and life isn't good. But there's no need when you realise what can be done. Now this lady, 70 years, in fact 50 years an alcoholic. That's why she had the embolism. Her arteries were thin. But she had 10 good months. And she's thankful for that. 
We've missed an S, haven't we? Psalm 55, 22, the Bible says, Cast your burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He will never suffer the righteous to be moved. Sleep. We need to sleep at night because God designed sleep 